Welcome to this Danfoss iCatB setup and configuration video about how to configure operation modes using the iCatB display interface. Watch this iCatB video and get all the benefits of saving time and money with the easy and quick setup of the iCatB and having a safe valve and system operation with the iCatB intuitive navigation. Beside this video, we have multiple online iCatB videos and literature available to support you in doing a correct iCatB installation and support you in efficiently using the different iCatB user interfaces, which you see here. Therefore, scan the QR code shown here to access the online iCatB videos and literature and check out the iCatB support material, which meets your needs. In this iCatB video, we will show you how to configure the iCatB main switch operating modes. How to configure the iCatB to a given valve opening degree when the main switch is set to manual mode. How to configure the iCatB to modulating operation. How to configure the iCatB input signal for modulating operation. How to configure the iCatB to on off operation. And finally, how to configure the iCatB to three point control operation. So keep watching this video to learn more about these objectives and explore the full potential of using the iCatB display interface. Let us first look at how to configure the main switch operating modes. There are three main switch operating modes, which are auto mode, where the valve position is controlled by an analog input signal, manual mode, where the user manually sets the valve position to be maintained, and config mode, where the iCatB continues a given operation but where parameters can be changed and applied to the iCatB. So to configure these modes, do the following. Press Enter and scroll down to Service, then press Enter. Scroll down to Control, then press Enter. Press Enter to access Main Switch. Please note that the iCatB by default is in Auto Mode, as seen here. Select the needed Main Switch Operating Mode. Press Enter to confirm and set the given Main Switch Mode, then press Exit. Please note that when the main switch operating mode is set to manual, then you also need to manually set the valve opening degree in the iCatB. This we also show in this video. As just mentioned, when the iCatB is in manual operating mode, then you need to manually configure the iCatB to a given valve opening degree. Scroll down to opening degree, then press enter. Select the needed valve opening degree, then press exit. Please note that the iCatB will maintain the given valve opening degree until it is manually changed or until the main switch operating mode is changed to auto mode. Before you continue the iCatB configuration, then we recommend you to reset the iCatB main switch operating mode to auto, as shown here in the following sequence. Okay, you have now seen demonstrated how to configure the iCatB main switch operating mode to auto, manual, or config. This supports you in knowing and having a flexible way of operating the iCatB. Let us then use the iCatB display interface to configure the available operation modes, which are modulating operation, on off operation, and three point control operation. So, to configure these modes, do the following. Let us firstly configure the iCatB to modulating operation. Scroll down to operation mode, then press enter. As seen, and as mentioned earlier, then the iCatB is already by default set to modulating operation. Therefore, press enter. Please note that the modulating operation mode is based on an analog input signal. Therefore, you might also need to configure this in the iCatB. So let us do this now. Scroll down to input signal, then press enter. Select the needed input signal. In this example, we keep the analog input signal of 0 to 10 volts. Therefore, press Enter and Exit. Please note that if the selected input signal does not match the input signal which the iCatB will receive, then an alarm will be triggered, as seen here in this short example. Let us now configure the iCatB to on-off operation. Scroll down to Operation Mode, then press Enter, select On-Off, then press Enter and Exit. Please note that the on-off operation mode is based on a digital input signal where the open and closed position of the valve needs to be defined. This is called the digital input function, or simply DI function. Therefore, you might also need to configure this in the iCatB. 
So let us do this now. Scroll down to Advanced Control, then press Enter. Scroll down to DI Function, then press Enter. Select between Open Valve and Close Valve. Press Enter to confirm the needed function. Then press Exit several times to return to service. Please note that if selecting Open Valve, then this will close the valve when the DI signal is off. And if selecting Close Valve, then this will open the valve when the DI signal is off. You can find more information about the DI function in the ICAT-B user guide as illustrated here. Let us then finally configure the ICAT-B to three point control operation. Scroll down to control, then press enter. Scroll down to operation mode, then press enter. Select three point, then press enter. Press exit several times to return to the main screen. Please note that the three point control mode, which is open, neutral, close, is based on a digital input signal, which increases or decreases the valve opening degree. As seen, then the valve has now moved fully from 0% to 100% opening degree because there is currently no digital input signal to the ICAT-B. Before you continue the ICAT-B configuration, then we recommend that you reset the ICAT-B to modulating operation mode, as shown here in the following sequence. OK, you have now seen demonstrated how to configure the ICAT-B operation mode to modulating, on-off or three-point control. This supports you in knowing and having a flexible way of operating the ICAT-B. So, you have now completed this Danfoss ICAT-B setup and configuration video about how to configure operation modes. This means that you know how to configure the ICAT-B main switch operating modes, you know how to configure the ICAT-B to a given valve opening degree when the main switch is set to manual mode, you know how to configure the ICAT-B for modulating operation, you know how to configure the ICAT-B input signal for modulating operation. You know how to configure the ICAT-B for on-off operation. You know how to configure the ICAT-B digital input function for on-off operation. And finally, you know how to configure the ICAT-B for three-point control operation. All this ensuring a correct and safe system operation. Please check out the other online ICAT-B setup and configuration videos. Have a look at the other online learnings about the Danfoss ICAT-B actuator for motor operator valves. Thanks for watching.